Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Let's Play King's Bounty 2. Uh, last time we uh, did, I think, pretty much the final quest we had left here. Final side quest we have left, so yeah. Next up is us uh, handing this quest in. So we're not going to hand it in at this guy. Maybe he wants to fight me for it. You want to fight? No? See ya. Uh, I think just running there is quicker. <laughs> so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna run these uh, 320 unidentified measurements of uh, distance so to get there, basically. Eh. I think I have to go this way. <laughs> Let's not go through the water. I was like, can I do a shortcut? No, no, I cannot gonna go the normal way. Uh, entrance to the right here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. And then after that we're gonna actually gonna do the main quest and see what we can do there. There's the guy. Hello. See if this is the max order. Quite response. an effective method of protecting the inheritance. Here's your box. I could sense your noble spirit right away. I didn't doubt for a second that you would bring me my treasure. Wow, look at all these stones. There's enough to pay my debts to Yui and much more. I only wish I could have thanked my generous father. Uve, that rat brother of yours attacked me on my way to the crypt. He tried to take the scroll for himself, then claimed that you were an Artisanian spy. Huh. I suspected he was less than completely honest, but I never imagined he was planning something like that. I don't understand how this could happen. He was raised with every privilege of the nobility. Nonetheless, I intend to find him and take him to Artisania. You're stubborn, Heinrich. And perhaps more generous than is wise. I'm sure that once he's removed from the temptations of his homeland, he'll remember all the good that our father taught him. He'll become a good man in Artisania. Okay. Good luck, then. Thank you. I would like to give you a farewell gift of sorts. A handful of these glittering gemstones. Why? That's no good. That's not what I wanted. I want mana. <laughs> Anyway, uh... Right. I like that we bought this raider and, like, used it once. It's like, okay, anarchy is not working. It's not working out for us. Anyway, right, let's... Hey. Calm down. Another Marcel um... Yeah, let's just, uh... I think which one's close doesn't really matter, it's about the same uh, distance. Aren't you bored standing so, here okay, let's go, we're going this way. Um, let's head over there. Well, actually want to do is um, um, we have 5.5 right and I think a dragon was 5.9 what if we um, yeah I'm gonna just gonna make sure that it is I want to use the summon scrolls basically but I only want to do it if I have enough um, Leadership to have a chance on getting a dragon. So, and for that, we need to first. Uh, even though I, I'm not even sure if we're gonna do much with the dragons, I don't think we will. I still wanna see if we can get them through summons. 5.7, right? So, is there a way for us to get a quick 200 extra leadership here? I think the ring, right? Uh, this one just gets us to the edge. 
This is 5.7 exactly. So now we can buy one, which we will do. It's 28k. Yeah, I don't care. Just, uh... Oh, it actually allows us to get one extra of these two. Hmm. So we're gonna buy a dragon. Who's <laughs> sad? Dragon is sad. Ten percent chance to skip a turn. That's fine. So I'm also gonna unequip it. Maybe that increases the chances of uh, of us actually reserve. Oh. Yeah. So let's now use the scrolls. Got raiders. We got. I don't know. Heavy crossbowmen. We got cavalry man. Look, that's a, that's something I like to have in my reserve here. And we got clay golems. So twenty eight though. So that's very good to use at the end. Because now we have a pretty huge army of killing golems. <laughs> Alright, so, well, this, these Cavalryman replenishments, I guess, are okay. Anyway, but, uh, maybe the ring is worth it if I get an extra Celestial Warrior. For a little bit of knowledge and um, arcane power. I just need to check if there's stuff I can no longer cast now. I think I can cast everything. Yeah, I can cast this one, which is a big one. This one I can also cast. So I think I'm uh, I'm fine. So maybe I will keep this on just to uh, increase that uh, that army a little bit. So <laughs> just to get that one up to three. So the ring instead of uh, giving me mana gives an extra one of these guys. Um, speaking of which, we should also just keep using Resolve whenever we can. There's no point not to. We have so many of these scrolls left. Uh, I need to go to Celestis here. Is this quickest? I don't know. Can we get through here? No. I was hoping we could, but no. This might. No, it's just stop. Why what am I doing? Just Just waste time, will you? <laughs> Alright, let's head over to that guy to get me this uh, third one. Maybe if I can summon some more, I should. Hey, Dragon basically is 7 initiative, right? Well, no, wait, I uh, swapped out the initiative item, I think. Yeah, swapped out the initiative item. It's fine, though. Uh, right. I could also get five of these, but just uh, just to check. Yeah, let's buy one of these two. Don't think I will use them, but um, I want to have them nonetheless. Okay, there we go. I think three of these will do way more. Those and those Emma Cavalry are basically the only <coughs> melee troops I have right now. Dresses off fire. Right. Now we can uh, now we can continue. <laughs> Alright, 
We'll see if it's required to use the dragons. We'll have um, neutral morale on it because we have these uh, morale sc uh, these scrolls, like a billion of them. I don't know if we can build mo buy more of them. By the way, do you know anything about Baron Gladrin? The son or the father? New quest. The if memory serves, the father is dead. But all fate has smiled upon me twice, and both times through you, my friend. You look well, Count. Reconnecting with old acquaintances. Just so. There's one connection I need to restore in particular, and I'll need your help. What if I offer to pay you to partake in a sort of private battle? I've been mistaken for a mercenary much too often lately. Even by other counts. What battle? It is about my vengeance. I want revenge, and I'm almost prepared to get it. I shall make Baron Gladrin pay for slandering my good name. However, I need experienced warriors and someone like you. Where will this battle take place? I challenged Gladrin to combat on the fields under the aqueduct. I'll await you there. I oh, wonder right. what our villain Gladrin has to say about this. So, does it matter? Okay. Gonna do you first, though. I bring good news. Bludgeon finally deigned to make you an offer. Ah, oh, happy day. I've told him so many times. Marry me, and Castle Irock will be my dowry. Did you know I was related to Farad? It doesn't matter. Oh, honey, you've made me so happy. Hurry over to Tweet and get the documents confirming my rights. Your precious brigand also needs the prince's permission for the wedding. I'm not getting involved in that. Trifles. I'll settle everything with the prince myself, and it will give me genuine pleasure to do so. Everyone, please give me your attention. I'm getting married. Congratulations are being accepted right now. So the main quest is now Wait, is a option for Oh no, those are linked. Okay. chest mana oh, no, it's 19 gold <laughs> obviously missed out on that one hey hey uh, kind of want to meet the other part uh, yeah let's do the side quest first We replaced the crystal, but the matter's draining away. I'm glad to see you. Have you heard? Count Wilmore is back in the capital. I've seen him. So, you already know then. That monster has challenged me to a battle in the suburbs. Is he that bad? He's a deceitful snake who's been coiled around the throne for years. He's the royal treasurer. And Nostria's top thief. Every treasure he's stashed away is soaked in the blood of those he's robbed or killed. My father, too, suffered at that wicked beast's hands. He didn't even spare his own sister, Baroness d'Arden, or her husband. How long did he hold their daughter, Gisela, captive in a cellar? He never told me any of that. So you had a reason to punish him? Yes. It took all the strength I possessed to seal him in that cellar. But it was nevertheless a mistake. I should have killed him. Alright, I guess I get pick. Um reminds me. <laughs> yeah, 
You know what? Let's do it like this. Why? Because um, this basically is uh, this basic this ability basically makes all these things like seven, eight, six, eight, eight uh, initiative, right? Because it uh, reduces their initiative by two. And I got the ring, and I need to level this thing up. <laughs> so there's uh, there's a few reasons why I want to do it like this. So we're actually gonna try to drag it out. See how it works. We just have to use the morale thing to uh, keep us up. Maybe we'll get... Um, like, how does that even work? Can I... I kind of want to save. I'm going to save and reset my talents and see if I can instead of uh, well I'll do all the uh, this stuff but let's see if I can uh, put everything in power balance it's, uh, it's gonna take a well, while this is fine we're gonna take obviously we're gonna take all spells so now How's that working for our morale? Oh. Interesting. So if I see this correctly, it's better to just put one point in all three right just to reduce the uh, so instead of doing this one we'll put one in this uh, yeah we'll put one in all so what we're gonna do is we're gonna load just want to see the effect there that means that the dragon only gives us minus one yeah I like that. So we're we are going to reset the tenants then. So we were at 60 60k by when we have still have some stuff we can sell, so sorry once again for the sounds. <laughs> so we need one in power and one in order. And we have one point left. That's fine. And now all the morale is much better. Now they all have like pretty neutral morale, right? For some reason the finesse are doing worse than these. I guess Maybe two in finesse is better. Yeah, change the plans. <laughs> Once again, sorry. The reason is because the um, the angel things, the celestial guardians, actually give order troops a bonus. So we're almost there. So we're actually gonna put um, one in here, one in here. If we now get our army together, everything is pretty much okay. Yeah, that's what I want. Now they're all just, just generally plus 10, all plus one. And then next turn we can decide if we wanna, like if we, if the morale 
thing drops off, then uh, everyone is just like neutral, which is fine. So sure, that's uh, now we can do a new manual save here. Okay, good. Let's talk to this guy. Ouch! I did nothing. <laughs> Let's talk to you. Madame de Guyenne needs documents confirming her ownership of Castle Irock. Can you do that? You're looking for the actual papers. You understand I can't give you such a document for free. I believe you can. Did you know de Guyenne intends to marry Bludgeon? Bludgeon? Well, why didn't you say so? Now I understand where this is going. Of course, I will prepare the necessary documents immediately. Moreover, Castle Irock badly needs a master. Iraq's knights rebelled when they heard the news about their overlord, Farad. That is not my concern. Maybe. But someone will have to take the baronial seal from them. From what I've heard, the late Farad left it in the castle. Okay. So we have to battle for... I have to do a battle there. So there's a few battles that are coming up. Um, let's move to the battlefield, and then next time we'll actually do this battle, so. Just uh, checking you out a little bit here. Do you happen to have... Uh... No, you don't have scrolls. Who's that? It doesn't have scrolls for... Uh, like world scrolls, like an extra summon thing. would be great. Well then, a nice mix of troops. <laughs> I think we have like two morale points to uh, give out, basically. So we can still give a little bit of morale to uh, to something. I guess the uh, Grotis should be to the uh, Finesse, right? Ah, no, it doesn't matter. I forgot that the last respec I did actually fixed that little problem. Uh, can we go through here? Yeah, not sure. No, that didn't really help. <laughs> Matter of fact, anti help. Hmm. Alright, um, I'm gonna save here. Next time, we're gonna try this dragon out. Uh, let's see, like. We have the fire ring, no, fire armlet. This uh, army influence bonus with dragons and dragons do fire damage. So, the combination should be like a fiery fest of fun. We'll see. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.